Hi everyone! <laughs> Hi guys, I am Rebecca from Chemnitz and tonight we are going to unbox the June 2019 Fiber of the Month Club from Paradise Fibers. And these are some really wonderful spinning boxes that have a curated theme. Uh, each box has about six to eight, eight ounces of unspun fiber uh, with suggestions and lots of other fun little notions in there and everything is themed to give you a real like care package in a box. Now, full disclosure, I am a Paradise Fibers affiliate and they do send me this for free every month so that way I can experience it and share it with all of you. But I can genuinely say that I think that this is a true treat yourself uh, moment. Uh, the box starts at $34.99 a month, which includes shipping within the continental U.S. Uh, it's a little bit more if you live in Alaska, Hawaii, uh, in Canada, or in the U.K., just because of shipping costs. But the uh, those other shipping costs are reasonable, and you can find details on uh, the Paradise Fibers website. Um, I think, actually, I can just double check the... Yeah, if you're in the UK or EU, I think it's $50 USD a month, which honestly is not bad at all. So there are international options. And welcome, welcome, everyone. And it's just just so, so much fun. And I get a lot of joy out of opening it. I, yeah, sometimes it's hard to wait to do it on these unboxings, but I like you guys to be able to experience it along with me as... I am like discovering all the little hidden details with the themes. Uh, I think it's just a lot of fun and I really, really enjoy it. Uh, but yeah, my link is in the video description and I'll pop it in the chat every so often. But actually I have a special guest who's sitting here today. My wheel Sandry uh, is here with actually, um, I'm now plying the fiber from the November box, which I did not add a link to that uh, to that video, but there is a video where you can see me unbox my my lovely, lovely uh, fiber from that month. But I decided to come into the living room tonight. And one other friend that I have to show off is, I think this was the September 2019. It's the roving that they sent and I dyed with highlighters following the Paradise Fibers tutorial. And I will actually have a spinning video on this yarn come up at some point it has been waiting to be edited for a really really long time um and yes my wheel is named after a character from the tamara tamora pierce circle of magic books uh lady sandraline fatorin her magic was expressed through uh, spinning and weaving and so it felt like the very appropriate name for my wheel and I've actually named my automated skein winder Triss after the weather mage from that same series. But yeah, that's totally, totally uh, where my wheel's name came from. But anyway, let's take a look. And it looks like we've got Paradise Fibers in the chat today. And oh, funny, there, <laughs> I had the website open and someone's like, oh, I mean, you can chat if you need help uh, on the Paradise Fibers website. And so that, that was really cute. And I was like, Oh, what's his comment? Um, <laughs> anyway, I am beyond excited to open this guy up. Don't worry, I will let you guys see the first look. And oh, right, uh, there will be spoilers. If you are a subscriber, I'm going to be opening this box and showing the contents. So count this as your spoiler warning. Um, there is a request that I include that. For the unboxing <laughs> even though the person who requested it was like i guess since you're doing an unboxing it's pretty obvious that there would be spoilers but this is the the look away moment okay are you ready up up da -da -da -da. Ooh. oh the great outdoors so oh thank you um the Paradise Fiber said my shirt is spot on for the month. Um, the I, the only spoiler I have is I saw this tissue paper, I think on a Paradise Fiber story on Instagram, and I was like, oh, I don't want to watch more. But I got all excited um, thinking about 
flowers and I do not need that anymore. All right, so our theme is the great outdoors. And it says, be brave, take risks. Nothing can substitute experience. Um, ooh. Okay, so let's see. This month we're bringing the great outdoors into your home from our home in the mountains of the great Pacific Northwest to the hills of Australia and the sand dunes of Egypt. What will you create with your treasures this month? Share it with us on social media and our Ravelry group, uh, which is the Real Paradise Fibers on Ravelry. Um, oh, I'm not gonna read anymore. I'm gonna go unbox this because I think I'm about to get really excited and I want to see. But in addition to everything that's all the awesomeness in the box, uh, Fiber Club members get 10% off regular fiber purchases at Paradise Fibers. So that's another wonderful perk. Okay, that's telling you what's in the box, which I'll look at when I'm confused. But look at this. Uh, are they lilacs? These look like lilac flowers on the tissue paper. And ooh. Ooh. So I see some beautiful, beautiful bags. Um, we've got, so there's like a little burlap bag. There's, oh, it's a little sachet with a scent. There's this big, big guy of fiber, and there's actually two fairly big guys of fiber. All right, let's, let's dig in. And what is, ooh, okay, and we got, okay, this is why I'm excited. There's some dye in here, a dyeing project. Country Classics Colors for You. <laughs> E-W-E. Um, so this is the color Deep Orchid. And so I guess it'll dye eight ounces in only 30 minutes. Um, oh, funny, and it's got like an address in Massachusetts. Uh, ooh, okay, let's, let's see. So I'm giving myself spoilers. This is awesome. So there's gonna be, there's dye instructions. Maybe the dye instructions I think are on that first page that I then looked away from. Let's see our, ooh, check out our, our fabulous sticker for the month. It's in the Paradise Fibers purple and you can see the mountains and oh, look at the little, the little star and it's like a crescent moon shape, um, which is really, really beautiful. Okay, let's take a, <laughs> Will Juness. <laughs> Okay, so let's take a closer, okay, so this is going to tell me about the, um, this is going to tell me a little bit about the, the dye, and let's open up. Uh, let's start with the big green, the big green guy. I'm excited for a dyeing project. So those of you who don't know, I like to dye yarn and roving. Uh-oh, I'm not buffering but I should change this quality to low um, on the playback, but just in case. Oh wow, I can't type, just in case. Um, <laughs> all right, so let's pull this out. So it's a shiny, like satiny bag, and we've got, ooh, all uh, this fiber. And so yeah, this is uh, four ounces of undyed Polworth wool top in a dark green bag. And in the light green bag, oh, there's a little bee in my little bag. So I opened it up and the first thing I saw, I don't know, this was supposed to be inside or outside, but there's this little like bee sticker that's in there, which is adorable. Um, little hidden surprise. Oh, I still remember the like spider, the sp pretend spider in the Halloween one. All right, so now we have two, this is two ounces of, um, it's 50% Tessa silk, 50% baby camel down. And you can see like the natural heathering, maybe, maybe the, there's a little too much shine, uh, but you can see like the natural heathering of the color. And this 
is possibly some of the softest, softest that, this is really soft. Um, you can, I love silk blends for spinning anyway. I feel like a lot of times they almost spin themselves because it just, the strength from the silk and how it sort of like just holds together a little bit is just wonderful, but this is incredible. And the, so I think there's like the whitish from the silk and there really is almost like a camel color. <laughs> Um, to it that's probably from the camel down. This is so soft. And I'd be really intrigued to see how this dyes because, so in my experience, like alpaca dyes a little bit slower than wool and needs a little more acid. And silk dyes a little bit slower than say alpaca. And silk can typically, it seems like it can absorb a lot of color. Um, which means that for the, like the same amount of color, then you might see the, if it was a wool silk blend, you might see the wool pick up a little more color than the silk. Um, but so I wonder like if that's something that you would see in here if, um, but yeah, so here is our beautiful, and the palm work is really soft too. But when I saw Camel, I got real excited because I don't think I have ever used Camel fiber before. And that's one of the other really fun things about this box is that there's a huge variety in colors and the way that like, sometimes you get colors that are more solid, sometimes things more blended, sometimes more natural, which you can follow the dyeing instructions or not, sort of what you want to do with it. And they give you a lot of possibilities that can really like challenge ourselves. But, okay, I'm gonna set those down and now, Peeking in here, because I'm assuming that there's gonna be a plastic bag. Yeah, okay, here's the, the instructions in here. So the dye, ooh, so I've got this like orchidy color. Okay, so let's see. So country classics, nothing to add but water. So it contains, um, it will dye eight ounces of wool, mohair, silk, alpaca, nylon, or other animal fiber. Uh, wet the fiber for 30 minutes in one gallon of water with some soap and cool it tells you how to mix it up and then how to dye it uh, oh and then there's some hand painting instructions on the other side cool so you don't need um now I'm curious what kind of dye. I'm now going and looking it up. And I think that you can find a lot more, it looks like you can find a lot more colors of the Country Classics dye on uh, the Paradise Fibers website. And so that's where I am. It's an all-in-one, no fuss dye. So no more or special treatment. So that's really cool. So is it is there is it an acid dye with acid already like mixed in? I don't know. Um, I'll have to do more reading on that later. But you can bet that I will be playing with this uh, because this is really really awesome. And I haven't played with this type of dye before, but it seems like a really um, easy way to play around with it. Now, um, I would recommend like using uh, dedicated dye equipment um, for any kind of commercial dyes that aren't like advertised as food safe, but I think that this will be really, really pretty and I am really excited. And I cannot see comments anymore because I got curious. Ooh. Oh, this is so, so fun. Yeah, so I think, goodness. So this is about almost like my like birthday. So I guess the first Paradise Fibers box I ever opened up was back in last July. So this is our third dyeing experiment. And fun funnily that I happen to have the highlighter yarn here because that was the first time there was a dyeing project in the box. Um, but I really, really like, there's actually a, um, a natural dyeing one that 
I am going to be revisiting shortly. I had just been playing around with a lot of natural dyes lately. And I was saving that, so I have to go like pull that back up and play with that one too. So thank you, Paradise Fibers, for also giving me great content <laughs> for my channel. Um, but this is really, really fun because it's just, for me, I started dyeing yarn before I started spinning. And as I started exploring adding color to yarn, then I really wanted to learn how to incorporate color into yarn in more ways. And for me, that meant spinning because suddenly there's another way that you can blend the colors together in a way that you can't if you're just painting the fiber directly. So there's so much that you could do, even with one color of dye and, you know, um, well, I think this was four ounces. I forget how many ounces we have. Yeah, four ounces of fiber. Uh, with the one color, you could do you could do some kind of gradient. There, there's so many different things that you can do with it to really create something that is yours and unique. And it's just a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I can't believe it's been a, almost a year either. And I just like still remember. Uh, how like surprised I was with that first one. Uh, but yeah, I'm really like, I mean, the creativity that Paradise Fibers puts into these boxes is unmatched. Uh, the like the highlighter project, it was a back to school theme for September. And I was just floored, absolutely floored in the best possible way. But okay, let's see. There's more bags to open. We're not done. So let's see what's in I got distracted by the dye. Ooh. Oh, this is cool. Okay, but look at look at this little guy. Um Okay, so in here it looks like it's a moss. Is it a moss stitch marker? Yeah, it looks it looks like um little bit of like the moss that you might use if you're making like a little scene with like a dollhouse kind of thing. Um, that's what made, it made me think of, but it's, this is the cutest little stitch marker ever. Um, and then we, there's a, oh, a s'more saltwater taffy. Ooh, I will probably have this right after I'm done streaming. Um, <laughs> that looks delicious. And then finally, Okay, there is the little, I sort of mentioned this um, before, but there's a little, uh, a moth be gone stash, stash protector. This is just organic lavender in this little um, packet. And so sometimes for the experience, these, um, the Fiber of the Month Club boxes do include some kind of scent, but if you are sensitive to scents, you can let them know and they can leave it out of your box. Um, but, yeah, I have huge, huge lavender. I'm, I know I'm opening it because I want to like see, because I haven't thought about like collecting, like I should think about collecting some lavender from my bushes next year because my bushes are huge and we get so many flowers. Um, but that is very, very cute. Very, very, very cute. Oh, I like the outdoors theme. It's really good timing because I was just, as I said, doing a lot of, now, not that I don't think this isn't a natural dye, but I've been doing a lot of natural dyeing and like looking around outside. Um, so Paradise Fibers asked if you can dye with lavender. I'm not sure how much pigment you would get from the flowers because even though there's like that nice purple, it's like pretty pale overall. But I've heard that you can get a nice green from like the bark or the stems. And my trees, my bushes are a little aggressive and so I usually have to cut a lot back this time of year so I'm like when I was thinking about that last year I was like oh when I'm ready to cut them back then I can just save like those twigs and see what can happen um, because I don't have say a dyer's garden but I was trying to uh, look and see like what I might have around my house that I could harvest and use and like I don't want to dig up any of my iris bulbs or anything like that but uh you know when I was like oh the rhubarb leaves that I have and so trying to see like because I I missed my chance with my azalea flowers but 
yeah, next spring, I think I will be collecting a lot of flowers as my bushes bloom. <laughs> They'll just be out there plucking. <laughs> but I hope to play with that. Um, oh, fun. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, oh, this is awesome. And then we've got a little bit of green, of green in there as well. But this is so fun. Okay, so now let's look. Um, so there's one other thing. There's a discount on the um, the Grossney Cat Cowl by Kristen Olsen. And so there is, uh, sorry, the, the dog. So I guess the, you can get 40% off the pattern with a code. And I'm trying to cover things up to maybe show you guys the It'll focus the picture, but it is a beautiful cabled. Oh, actually, I can't tell. Maybe it's not cabled. Maybe it's um, knit and pearl, but it looks like or just a really like cozy little cowl um, that has a really nice like it gives it this checker pattern, um, and that's really really cool. So I like I like that there's now like that there's patterns included in here. A lot of times there'll be like a suggestion of like, oh, here's a spinning project you can do. Um, or last month there was a pattern included in the box. And so that's sort of like, hey, here's a suggestion of something you can do with the kit. Or, you know, you can do whatever you want. And in the Ravelry group, you can see what a lot of other people are choosing to do with it as well, which I think is a lot of fun. But I think you know what I'm gonna be doing with this. <laughs> oh, she's an employee at the shop. Wow, I really like how um, you guys include like a lot of your employees in the boxes themselves. That's really, really fun. Um, and really like awesome. It shows like your like family, like nature and stuff. Um, it's awesome. and. I am really, really excited for this color. I know, I definitely know a lot of other, uh, hey Keith. Uh, Indy, just hold on, okay, honey? Uh, our dog rings a bell when he wants to go outside. <laughs> Indy, go get daddy. No, no, not mommy, go get daddy. <laughs> that's the dog running up the stairs um to go get Keith and so <laughs> um but yeah so now now I have to decide now I have to decide what I am going to want to do with the color and these I'm really excited to try out this guy I know a lot of other people who have used these before and I like that it is pre-measured that is really really handy but I'm like so curious what's in it um and so i want to learn more about it because there's so many different um like mechanisms that dyes can work to bind to yarn and stuff and so yeah i'm not sure like how to classify it and even though like i am a chemist uh there's still like they i'm still continuously learning things about the way dyes interact with fiber and stuff and so yeah um, yeah, Pamela, I think it's awesome that they come and hang out here as well. I, yeah, as like the kid. And did daddy not understand? Daddy's clearly not watching right now or else he would know that I, that you want to go out. I'm sorry, honey. You'll be out in a minute. Um, <laughs> sorry, you guys. Oh, you want to say hi? Um, will you fit? And you can come. Okay, oh. okay, here's here's my, my fiber floof, um, who will make some really, I haven't spun him yet, ow, but he will make some really beautiful yarn someday, because he is also very, very soft, but I don't know what I'd make out of it. I have a headband made out of husky fur. It's only 50% husky fur, and it is warm. Like, I can only wear it during a polar vortex, because it's really, really warm. Um... Oh, awesome. And, oh, yeah, Paradise Fibers. Do you have any more of this month's box available? 
um, because normally if you sign up before the 10th, you will get the box of the current month. Otherwise, um, if you were to sign up, say, uh, between now and the end of June, your first box would be the July box. Um, but you can, oh, they do have some more of the June one available. So when you sign up, um, if it's after the 10th, you can always ask if they have more of the current month and then they can send it to you. And usually like you, you get a really good deal through the fiber of the month box. Um, a lot of times if they have like a special fiber blend or something, it is available on the website later, but you get the best deal. Uh, through the box, which is awesome. And I believe this month one of the big variations might be from what people are saying the colors uh, Maybe the color of the dye that came And I'm trying to see if I missed anything But oh no, where did I do with my will Judas sticker? I'm still trying to figure out where I'm going to display all my stickers He has a Okay, I'll, I'll hear. Here it is. The Willed Uness. <laughs> um, my husband puts a bunch of stickers on his, like, uh, not a, it's a guitar pedal case for his electric guitar. And so he has, like, a whole collection, but I'm not giving up my stickers for him, even though I know he would proudly put these ones on his, um, on his case. But maybe... I'm about to get new shelving for my office this week, and so maybe um, I'm gonna have to like decorate uh, one of, some of the cubbies with it. Um, ah, and so everyone, so everyone did get a different shade of dye in either a bumblebee or a ladybug sticker, and these are really really cute because they're it's I don't know if it's wood or plastic. It looks like it. Could definitely be either, but it's very three-dimensional and is super adorable. And I also like want to put them like everywhere. Um, I know, especially since uh, you guys gave me some of the ones from the months I missed in December. So I've got like I've got like a little like little stack of my of my stickers. But yeah, so if you guys enjoy collecting stickers like me, um, which Sidebar, I just gave my kids stickers that I had as a teenager because I saved the stickers and never used them. And so I just gave it to the kids and they used it for teacher appreciation stuff. But anyway, I am digressing a lot tonight. But so for review, <laughs> in the June 2019 box, you get four ounces of Polworth, undyed Polworth um, wool top, two ounces, and I picked up the the paper of this undyed, beautiful, beautiful, 50% camel down, 50% Tessa silk. Uh, this is so unbelievably soft. And yeah, there's enough dye in here to dye all of this fiber. So there's six ounces of fiber this month and there's enough here to dye eight ounces. You could dye the fiber. Um, all together. You could blend them as you spin them. You could do so many different things. There's so many possibilities there. And then um, for fun extras, you've got some lavender. Here she is. We get some lavender to help keep those um, insects who must not be named away. I, <laughs> this will this will go in with some some yarn. Um, then of course the um, Willed Eunice sticker and a little either bee or ladybug sticker. Uh, and then um, so there's a discount on the pattern do, 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 do. with some suggestions and I really like I really like textured kinds of stitches and stuff and I think that it is really really cute and ah and there is the moss stitch marker which how adorable how adorable is this it's like a little jar of moss and then a s'mores saltwater taffy um, to give you this whole wilderness outside theme in a box and it's just fun it's so much fun each month is and this is not necessarily like a pretty like final display but oh my gosh alligator pearl 
Moss stitch. There. <laughs> I didn't get it. Oh my gosh, you guys are awesome. This is why I like doing it live because there's things that I'm like, la 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 la. Like, I mean, I totally, like sometimes I pick up on some things right away, but I was so slow on that. That's amazing. Um, oh my gosh, there is just, again, so much thought into each of these boxes that, you know, it's really like a friend like went and put a lot of time to put something together to make you laugh and smile and then have some fun with one of your favorite hobbies. And yeah, I don't spend like nearly as much time sitting um, and hanging out with my wheel as I, uh, as I would like, but I just, well, I'm finally at the stage where I don't have to put the wheel away in between. Like I can leave it out and the kids know not to touch it. Um, so I can leave it out, which means that I get more time with it because I can spend, like it's not a pr production each time I want to use it. Um, but yeah, later this summer, I'm excited to bring out the drop spindle and see if I still have the skills for that. Um, I started on a drop spindle, but I honestly find, and I keep referencing, let's see if I can excuse any messes that you see. Here's, here's Sandry, um, with some fiber, but I, uh, started on the drop spindle, but then I found the wheel to be super, super intuitive. And I tried it once at a show and then I was gifted this for my 29th birthday. And so that, and then the rest with that, I guess is history. Um, and I've been spinning ever since, but it is just so much fun. And I think that whether you are an advanced spinner and I consider myself sort of maybe an advanced beginner. Like I have a lot to learn, even though I've been doing it a while. Like I can turn fiber into yarn, but I still have, you know, there's, there's still a lot more learning for me when it comes to spinning. But I think that this box is something that would work great for a beginner spinner who wants to learn because you get different types of fiber and different types of, you know, whether it's dyed or undyed, which gives you different ways to play around with it and learn um, and experience and experience like different fibers and spinning techniques. And I know that when I was first starting out, even if there was a color that I didn't love, then I would use that to try something like really outside the box, but it gave me more fiber for practice. And actually some of my favorite yarns I've ever spun came from ones that I wasn't necessarily into the colorway at first until I spun it. And, you know, one of those has been like a, a hat that both of my kids have worn and it's just really, really uh, fun. And so it's just, it's a great way to learn. But also I think if you are more experienced, you might get some things in these boxes that you've never tried before, like pineapple fiber. I know it's awesome. So to figure out like, so every month I'm like, okay, am I going to reshift my cue or which way am I, which way am I going to do it? But I'm, yeah, working on figuring out what I am going to make myself. Cindy, you're all right. I'm figuring out what I'm going to make myself for this year because it's been a while uh, since I've done something just for, uh, just for me, even though everyone else needs new hats too. So that's on the plan. Hey, Indy. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I hope, I know I keep saying that, um, I hope that there'll be time for some live spinning soon. Maybe, um, maybe in that time in between when school ends and camp begins. And yes, dear, I, I am coming, honey. Mommy's just saying goodbye. Normally it's the human kids that interrupt. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, thank you so, so much for tuning in and joining. joining. I know that uh, this box is gonna make another appearance um, sometime in June, I think, because I am, well, I guess it depends. 
will either make an appearance in June if I decide to do the dyeing project as a live stream, but otherwise I will be filming a video that would probably come out sometime in uh, September, I think is what I'm filming for now. Um, so whether this will be now or later, it will be something that you will see this year <laughs> on the Chemnitz Tutorials YouTube channel. So make sure that you're subscribed, not just for fun unboxings, but dyeing tutorials and yeah, my adventures as I learn and try new things because I try to share my mistakes and successes <laughs> with all of you. Um, yes, and make sure like when you are making things out of your boxes, um, share them. Uh -huh -huh. Share them with the hashtag Paradise Fibers and share them in the Ravelry group. I know that they really like to see what everybody makes and um, it's nice because you can get some inspiration from what other people are making as well. Uh, I will drop my, nope, that's not my link. All right, after I sign off, I will drop my affiliate link into the chat one more time, but you can also find it in the video description and so Basically, that tells Paradise Fibers that I referred you, uh, but uh, you know, it's worth uh, checking out or making sure that you tune back in uh, next month when I unbox because these are just truly like, it's just so much fun to, to open these up and find all the little hidden treasures and how they're connected inside. It's just really, really delightful. And I always get a huge kick out of it and you know, my family even knows when the box shows up that uh, I get really, really excited to open this one up. <laughs> but yeah, I hope that you all have a wonderful evening and that you're having a great start to uh, this week. And I will, oh yeah, I guess there'll be a new episode of Dye Pot Weekly tomorrow morning at 8.30 Eastern time. So don't miss it. Um, anyway, I will chat with you guys all soon. <gasps> Ooh, okay guys, we got a little teaser. We're going somewhere over the rainbow next month. Ooh, I love rainbows. And yeah, and my um, dying inspiration photo will be out on the 15th. So uh, yeah, I have a feeling that rainbows will be a common theme. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, uh, I am beyond excited for some rainbows. Uh, and yeah, I will chat with all you guys soon.